Hi, this is Mike Larkin, and I'm doing eliminating possibilities uh, in the form of a Sudoku puzzle. Okay, so the rules of Sudoku are that each Sudoku puzzle has a unique solution that can be reached logically without guessing, entering digits uh, 1 through 9 into the blank spaces. Every row must contain one of each digit, so must every column, and every 3x3 three three square. A good example of eliminating possibilities can be found in our first solution. We know that row 3, column 9 must be a 1 because rows 1 and 2 already have a 1 present and column 8 has a uh, 1 present. Therefore, in the 3x3 three three box, uh, row 3, column 9 must be a 1. Another example of eliminating possibilities is the solution to row 2, column 9. We know that row 2, column 9 must be a 5 because row column 7 and column 8 already have 5s in it. That leaves us only with one possibility for row 2, column 9, which is a 5. Yet another example of eliminating possibilities is the solution to row 6, column 3. We know row 6, column 3 must be a 3 because column 1 already has a 3, column 2 already has a 3, and we need a 3 in this certain 3x3 three three box, so we know that row 6, column 3 must be a 3. The final and easiest solution in this puzzle is um, row 7, column 5. We know that row 7, column 5 must be an 8 uh, for a number of reasons. The easiest is that row 7 has all the numbers 1 through 9 except for an 8. Also, column 5 has all the numbers 1 through 9 except for an 8. So we know to finish off our puzzle that this must be an 8. Uh, as you can see, Sudoku is a good example of eliminating possibilities because there's only one through nine possibilities for each square, but you have to gradually go through a system and eliminate the possibilities. Thank you for watching.